Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> just a little update. I really haven't got anything done on the Impala, but I uh, was able to kind of clean my garage up a little bit. You can kind of see it back here pretty well. I opened the whole area up up front here so that I could pull a car in here. Uh, originally, I was going to pull my rat rod beetle in and start working on it. Uh, the more I look, I don't know that it's a good fit for the garage. Uh, this garage is actually really small. It was built to an existing pad, so I didn't have to pull any kind of permits. And uh, it's not exactly user-friendly for automobile work. Uh, as you see, I got the motor pretty well wrapped up. That's a 1915cc motor. I did kind of a slideshow a while back and put it up on uh, YouTube here. Uh... So I figured I'd touch base a little bit on this rat rod. I've had a couple of emails about it. So uh, I will go over it a little bit with you right now. All right, as you can see, whole rear end is cut out like a Baja. Uh, that was basically because I got hit one time and the apron was tore up and I just tore it out. That was back when it was still a full bodied beetle. Uh, the roof line is completely gone off this car. Uh, it was a hard top. Uh, I made it a full-time convertible at the time. It's, uh, it's been on the road and off the road in various stages. Uh, you can see some really bad Bondo work from when I was younger. Uh, none of it's been sanded down or anything. But, I capped the body off all the way around. Capped the doors, welded the doors shut. Which, I know it's a mess out here, but let's see if I can get a good angle. You can kind of see where the old body line used to be come down and then here's obviously the front body line well, that's all been shaved uh, new rear quarter or front quarters here full new pans new heater channels the whole nine on the pan uh, right here's the the dash I'd made it's uh, license plates obviously and if you can see the gauge here instead of having numbers it's got letters on all the speed increments so it's also chameleon paint which i know you can't tell here but it's red to gold to green so it's pretty nice looking i tore it back roll everything back to uh zero mileage also while i'm up front here as you see it's got a bench seat uh, this is a bench seat out of a mazda b2200 i believe and uh, it actually fits really nice. Uh, it's right against the side. It's not got a lot of extra space, but it fits really well. And uh, it even allows you to have your cutout down there for the uh, emergency brake. Uh, so that's always a plus. <laughs> now the front is where things are gonna get a little bit different up front. So let me uh, walk up here. As you see, open wheeled, no fenders. Uh, got a little uh, little grill here. And, uh, you know, because all good hot rod have to have a grill. And uh, that was just kind of a little gag thing that I did. I like it. Uh, it's not for everybody. It's just something as a conversation piece, really. But what's under the hood's gonna be a little stranger. Let me go ahead and open it up. I don't really have a way to support it. Uh, I might have to stop here and find something. In fact, I'm going to. So hang on. I'll cut you back on one second. And we'll go over this front beam a little bit. Okay, guys. I went ahead and grabbed a piece of conduit and stuck through here uh, onto the headlight support up to hold the hood. But as you can see, the front end's had a tube extension welded to it. Uh, everything's fabbed up by myself and my father. Uh... It actually raises the uh, front suspension up via the original height to the frame head. Moved it up about three inches. Uh, pushed it forward roughly a foot. Um, as you see, I had to extend the uh, steering column there. And, I mean, it's not finalized. Just bolt it together right now. I'm going to eventually actually weld it and do it correctly. I just haven't had time yet. Uh, we moved to this new house, and basically this project got put on hold for about a year and a half. Uh, tires are shot. 
It has a new master cylinder, even though you can't really tell because it's filthy. All new hard brake lines. So I've got the rest of the stuff to do the brake line build. And uh, once that happens, it's a matter of throwing a wiring harness and doing all the little odds and ends that are left on the body. Which there's a good portion of work that I want to do on the body. It'll never be a show car. I mean, it's a rat rod. But it'll be cool. You know, sometimes just something that you think is cool is worth having more than what everybody else would think is kind of neat. Uh, as you see, I have a whole roof line here off a of bus in two various sections. And actually, all the way in the back there, I got an original hatch from a bus. I was going to graft in the square roof and make it this kind of like a wagon. Uh, I have since toyed with the idea and tossed it back and forth and changed my mind. And I honestly don't know that that's going to happen. But what I am thinking about is cutting these posts off of this front section of the roof. Because it's about four inches wider than the beetle at the widest point. But if I did that, the straight line section actually at the bottom that used to be attached right here that was cut. If I put that right against the back of this seat, that basically is the exact same measurement as this length right here. I could take this and cut it flat across on that seam line right there on that bend line. Which still gives me plenty of room for the motor below it. It won't hit the, the fan shroud at all. I've done a ton of measuring. But that'll basically allow me to cap this rear end off. Uh, I'm going to put the fuel tank back here uh, behind the seat and everything. So that'll be uh, what I'm actually hoping to work on next. Uh, it's, you know, it'll be a full-time convertible still, but I never intended on rear seats. And uh, it's not going to have rear seats. Uh, these little tail lights are from back... Uh, last time I had it on the road uh, They might get used somewhere else. They're probably not getting used on this Unless I sneak them in as like a third brake light somewhere where it's kind of out of the ordinary I'm actually looking at some model T or model a Ford uh, rear tail lights So we'll see how that goes too uh, As you can see there's a little bit of patching that I had done on the rear quarter before and uh all new lower skins here on both sides also with the all four corners basically got rebuilt um, as for the dash I'm actually gonna probably get rid of that uh, I liked it at the time not a big fan now uh, it's just pop riveted in it's not like it's gonna be super hard to take out but what I'm going to do I've got a dash for a 1954 Ford mainline uh, it's about 11 inches wider than this car would need, but I've, uh, picked it up and that's actually it right back here in the corner. And as you see, it's a pretty neat looking little dash. So I've already marked out a section here that needs cut. And then basically you can take this whole speaker section right here from a six by nine out and then push everything back in. So... Just kind of want to touch base throw this out uh, i've got a couple comments like i said i guess the beetle showed up in the background of a few other videos and uh a couple of times during the impala build uh, on that quad tail light which i might add is working fantastically uh yeah like i said some people asked about the engine sitting in the background uh not a professional at this just do it it's fun make videos just basically to kill some time uh so that's that i will uh hopefully get some more stuff up here shortly uh probably be affiliated around the beetle uh i've actually ordered something for the impala and uh i actually bought a couple things at a junkyard uh, salvage yard for the impala uh, that aren't factory for an impala but it's something along the reverse lights. Uh, the one I want to do, I'm not sure that I am skilled enough to pull off, but I'm going to try it. Uh, so I got to wait for that part to come in the mail, and then I got to modify the crap out of it. And uh, when that shows up, I'll definitely do a video on it because uh, if it works, it'll be really cool. 
uh, and it's more of what I want. Now, the parts I bought at the junkyard, they're off a of Chevy. Uh, it's not an Impala. They're actually uh, inside reverse lights for a Cobalt. Uh, I guess a coupe, a sports coupe. They're, they're little circular uh, lights. they got like a red ring around them with the clear reverse light in the center. And I've been debating on putting those in the lower bumper. Basically, you know, court in the quarter portion of the bumper on one one side or the other in the corners. Uh, basically, it'd be like two two lights on the you know trunk and the quarter panel up top, and then one light kind of towards their center down below on the bumper. I've kind of mocked it up a little bit. I'm not really sure if I like it, but twenty dollars, you know, that's what they cost. I mean, it wasn't like I've blown a lot of money for it significantly cheaper than doing the actual quad light conversion uh that's been you know kind of expensive for what it was but it's cool and i like it that's all that really counts so i will see you guys on the next one hopefully i will have a little bit more building to actually uh show you and it won't just be me blabbering to myself in my garage so <laughs> thanks for watching guys I'll see you later